In this video, we're going to be talking about how to evaluate trigonometric integrals. And when we say trigonometric integrals, we just mean an integral that involves at least one trigonometric function. And this topic is a little bit difficult because there are so many different kinds of trigonometric integrals. And really, it's just about knowing the other tools for evaluating integrals and then applying them to these trigonometric integral formulas. So for example, we have this formula here that the integral of cosine of x, simple cosine of x, is sine of x. We need to know this formula in order to evaluate this integral, but evaluating this integral is really going to be more about u substitution, and that's usually the case with trigonometric integrals. We're going to need to know u substitution, integration by parts, trigonometric substitution, things like that, and we're going to be using those to evaluate integrals like this, but we'll need to know these basic formulas. So when we look at this integral, what we need to realize is that we're going to do a u substitution with u equal to x squared plus 1. If u is x squared plus 1, then du, the derivative of u, is going to be 2x. And of course, because we took the derivative of this with respect to x, we have to multiply here by dx. Now we want to solve for dx by dividing both sides by 2x. So we get du over 2x is equal to dx. Now we can go ahead and make our substitution so our integral becomes x times cosine. Instead of x squared plus 1, it's going to be cosine of u because we said u was equal to x squared plus 1. So we get cosine of u, and then we know that dx is equal to du over 2x. So we get du over 2x. Now we can see that we have an x here in the numerator and an x in the denominator. Those will cancel with one another. We can also take this 2 in the denominator, which basically represents 1 half, and we can pull that out in front of the integral. So we end up with 1 half times the integral of cosine of u du. And now here's where our formula comes in. We know that the integral of cosine of x is sine of x, which means that the integral of cosine of u is going to be sine of u. So what we end up with is 1 half times sine of u, and then we want to go ahead and add c to account for the constant of integration. So back substituting now for u, we know that u is x squared plus 1. We get 1 half times sine of quantity x squared plus 1 plus c. And this is our final answer, the integral of this original function. So you can see how this problem was more about u substitution, this method of integration, rather than the formula. But these specific formulas are helpful if you end up with just a function like this, the integral of cosine of x, or in this case, cosine of u. And I've got a list of the basic trigonometric integrals on the formula sheet for this course. But in general, just know that evaluating trigonometric integrals is going to be more about knowing the other methods of integration more so than these formulas. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.